a uh, happy Friday or whenever you're choosing to watch this video. I, I've been slack this week. I told you I was, I was moving. This is only my second video that I've done this week. And I apologize. I, uh, um, I just have more important things to do. <laughs> Honestly, it's really, it's really what it comes down to. Uh, as I've moved into a new home, I, I thankfully have my office downstairs in the basement. Uh, it is not dark and dingy. It actually is the windows on the on the one side outlooking the backyard. It's fantastic. And I'm all away from all the hustle and bustle of all the crap that's going on upstairs. Today's project, uh, the wife informed me at about 8.30 saying, hey, by the way, we're cleaning all the carpets upstairs in the kids' room. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, when are we doing that? She's like, today. At what time? I'm like, right, 8, 8.30, she says. I'm like, okay, I'm going downstairs. As... as the vacuum guys or the, the shampooing guys ha had to open the door to uh, obviously have some sort of gigantic hose that goes through the house and the vacuums all up upstairs. They left the door open as you, as one does, if there's a giant hose coming into the home, that door then happened to be uh, an invitation to a little bird to fly into the house. <laughs> and, um, I could literally hear uh, footsteps uh, as dogs were barking and, and kids were clamoring. Uh, and I was, I was kindly texted during my meeting uh, to my son, Max, saying, hey, what what the heck, guys? Like, it's, um, it's super loud up there. <laughs> Max was like, well, there's a... There's a bird in the house that we're trying to, to get it. So it was successfully, uh, no birds were hurt in the making of this video uh, or prior uh, video. That, so be, be happy and be, uh, let it be known that the bird flew to the game room. The game room door was closed. All the multiple windows in, the, in that game room were open and the bird found his or her way out. Uh, so everything ended successfully, except there was, might have been a couple of um, um, remnants on the walls of where the bird might have gotten scared. <laughs> So crisis avoided and, and onward and upward we go. Okay. Anyway, really what I want to talk about is, is the ability to um, utilize zoom apps. I know we talked about it a little bit uh, last video, but zoom apps is an absolute game changer. It's within your meeting context right here. When you start a meeting, there's an apps container. If you go to this apps container, you can download a, a whole bunch of, uh, or a plethora, if you want to use a bigger word, uh, of applications. One of the ones that I've been enjoying lately, as I've been testing these out, is NoteJoy. I am not a paid sponsor by NoteJoy, <laughs> but um, I really enjoy their app. And here's how cool it is. As I click on NoteJoy, it actually opens up uh, notes that I can take in the meeting at the same time as other people are, are in the meeting. I can now share my notes or send my notes to everybody uh, in the meeting, I actually haven't left Zoom apps. I mean, Zoom to do this. It literally opened up within the meeting context itself. And here's what's a cool thing is right is now I can go in here and do see a couple of things. I can see a whole bunch of uh, of items that I can do within the note taking process. What if you had a, a bunch of people in the meetings and you wanted to take attendance of the meeting? Look what happens. I'm actually joined. Uh, in this meeting with my phone as, as Patrick Kelly. I'm also the MOD admin of uh, the organizer of this meeting. No joy has actually now taken attendance of everyone in the meeting without me actually writing anything down. I can then to proceed to take notes during the meeting. What's really cool is once I've taken the notes and obviously there's, there's fonts and colors and a whole bunch of stuff that you can do. I can then once I'm done with the meeting, the meeting then goes to an existing meeting note. So anytime, what if I came to a reoccurring meeting, my reoccurring meeting notes are actually right here. I can double click and get right into the notes that I had taken in the previous meetings. This is a super powerful tool built into the context of Zoom. I haven't had to open up any other window to do this. I literally just went to my NoteJoy app and, and started taking notes uh, during the Zoom meeting. Then you can share them. Then you can send them. You can then co-author on these things because NoteJoy actually has a web-based application Then you can now co-author during the note-taking process if you truly wanted to. I could go on and on about this NoteJoy app. Uh, it's just one of the, uh, the plethora of apps that are available in the Zoom app store. And I'll probably be doing a lot more videos on all these things. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one.